Hi Aries, welcome to your January 2024 love reading. So please only take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. If this is your love story, comment below. If not, you can always check my channel and your other placements for messages you need to hear. Other than that, please remember to like this video, comment, share, and subscribe for future readings. So Aries, I love you guys. Thank you to my subscribers and members for being here and for your love and support of the channel. Um, also, if you are wanting to dive into your own personal love story, you can always book a private reading with me down in the description box below. That is where you can find all of my details. So be sure to check that out. And Aries, once again, this is your general love reading. So please only take what fits for you. Leave the rest. Never force the reading to fit as obviously this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Crotch Watcher, so you can always reverse roles however necessary in your storyline, okay? So what all do we have for Aries, please? What are the messages from the Romance Angels, please? So we're starting out with free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life, okay? So Aries, free yourself. Why am I hearing frost yourself? <laughs> If you've ever seen how to lose a guy in 10 days, then you already know what I'm talking about. But frost yourself, okay? Love yourself. Take back your power. Take back control of your life. Um, this could be for many different reasons, okay? So continuing on, we have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So that could be exactly why you're being supported in releasing yourself from a certain person, okay? Um... And I say you, but once again, this could be about what's going on with your person. So they could be the ones that need to free themselves from an unrequited situation. Either way, the love seems to be one-sided, okay? So whatever specific scenario we're talking about, only you're going to know who the you is and who the they is. But Spirit is saying there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep that situation going. So there is a desire to free oneself, okay? The other card out is new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So... <clears throat> Isn't that usually what happens, y'all? Isn't that usually how it is? You're in a situationship and things are going along and then someone new comes along that makes you see everything that you actually do deserve, okay? Or, you know, someone new comes along that sparks your interest and really highlights what's not going right in your current relationship. I kind of feel like that's the vibe I'm picking up on here. So, again, only you will know who you are in this scenario, but I feel that spirit is reminding whoever this is that there's an opportunity for for real romance, okay, for real love, but it's going to need to be after something else is released first, okay? Let's get a couple more cards from the Romance Angels. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So that could be exactly what needs to happen to release oneself. You know, if there is a situation here where the love is one sided, or if, you know, again, it feels like there's not enough chemistry or attraction in the connection where, you know, other people are starting to spark your interest, or there's a new person on the scene that's sort of taking away your attention or their attention, okay, vice versa. Um, it needs to be talked about, it needs to be discussed. So I do feel in general. January, there is going to be a very revealing, emotionally heartfelt conversation that's going to end up happening here. Um, and so, yeah, somebody needs to release someone or something. They need to free themselves from a situation or maybe even, um, again, like we're talking about a one-sided love, right? Unrequited love. Uh, this could be a message for someone out there who is still holding on to someone that they know they need to release. And they're actually blocking themselves from having new love, from having someone who is going to be open, honest, and vulnerable with them, okay? So remember, we attract what we entertain in our mind. If, if there's someone out there who is still holding on to the concept of what something could be or, or what could be as far as like potential is concerned, but it's not happening that way. That is exactly the message. Okay. You need to release yourself from that situation because it doesn't really feel like it's going to go anywhere. Okay. That is the message that I'm getting. If you are in, in an unrequited love situation, get out. Okay. Remove yourself. You're doing nothing for yourself by blocking your opportunities and blessings because I think spirit's trying to tell you like, 
there's new love at the door. So that is a very specific message for someone out there. Again, we could be saying these things, but we could actually be talking to your person, the person you're connecting with. So assign roles, however, they are needing to be assigned. Let's get into the tarot. Okay, let's find out more about this overall energy. So what is this person currently thinking and feeling for Aries at this time? What is in their mind? What is in their heart? What are they thinking and what are they feeling? Okay, so you guys just... Just like I was saying before, this person really does need to release themselves from a situation, and I think that's their main focus right now. Uh, the Eight of Cups with the Nine of Coins. This person needs to remove themselves from an unrequited situation, okay? The Eight of Cups is exactly that, an unrequited love. This person has been putting focus and effort and love and time and energy into a certain connection, but they're not getting that energy back. Okay, so at the end of the day, this person focuses so much of their attention on trying to formulate some sort of two of cups scenario, but what's happening for them is they're left feeling as if they're out there on their own by themselves, independent, single. So I do feel this person is very focused right now on just exactly what the hell is going on in that situation, maybe realizing, okay, this person is never going to love me the way that I deserve to be loved. This person is never going to be on the same page as me uh, in terms of like what you guys want for your future. And so I think this person is very focused on being independent right now, on trying to break free and be single um, or just kind of keeping to themselves, taking care of themselves because it's not happening in that other relationship or situationship, okay? In their heart, we have the Ace of Cups. So obviously we're talking about new love, okay? There's an opportunity for new love. There's an opportunity for a vulnerable and open, honest and flowing, loving connection, but they're not going to find that if they keep barking up the wrong tree, if they keep putting effort and energy and time into a situation that's unrequited, okay? So that is what I'm seeing. I feel your person is very focused on, again, removing themselves from those situations and, and not just romantic situations that are like that, but any situations in their life that are like that, okay? Nobody wants to stay where they don't feel wanted. Nobody wants to stay where they don't feel valued and loved and respected, okay? And so that's the concept of the Eight of Cups. It's walking away from the broken cups to find the Two of Cups. So um, also, you guys, I have the lovers at the bottom of the deck. So to kind of solidify what I was saying about, you know, being divinely guided towards situations that are meant for you, being divinely guided towards new love, new opportunities, new chances to open your heart and be emotional and be vulnerable with someone else. That is what's happening. That is the door that's opening. And you can see here, there's a gate opening to the Ace of Cups. So I do feel your person's desire is to be with someone who they feel that they're destined to be with someone that they feel that they've been guided towards and that is the lovers it's a soul connection okay it's you know choosing a love that is guided towards you because you know that it's real you know that it's meant for you otherwise they're going to be in this situation still um, again, pouring into an individual or into circumstances where they don't feel valued, where they don't feel that mutual energy. So what is the blockage for this person? What is the blockage for this person? Okay, so we're getting the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. So, you know, I feel like this person has been dealing with a lot of, like, negativity, possibly feeling very misfortunate. Um and experiencing bad luck and things happening in their life because they're they're continuing to put effort into that other situation so it's almost like they realize that they've been blocking their own fortune they've been blocking their blessings um and you know maybe they've had to deal with some negative karma karmic cycles uh in that situation which is why they've been sort of hitting a brick wall in that sense but um i think this person recognizes that they're the reason they're being blocked is because this is not where they're destined to be. They're not destined to be giving their love and time and effort to someone or something um, that's not giving back. So, you know, again, experiencing misfortune, experiencing bad luck and things happening to them that don't feel aligned, okay? 
So to clarify that, we also have the magician in the reverse. So I think this person has felt very powerless in this situation, okay? Not really feeling as if they have what it takes to manifest a better situation for themselves. So again, I think this person could be struggling with... Um, that sort of a mentality. This has been kind of a theme popping up in these love readings. People recognizing that they're blocking their blessings from coming in by sticking around, by being stubborn, by waiting for things to play out when they already know deep down they're not supposed to be there. Um, so I think this person has been struggling with finding the, the power within them to manifest and manipulate the situation to their advantage. So that is what they need to do. They need to turn that upside down and recognize that, you know, luck is what you make it. Life is what you make it. And if you're going to put your efforts and, and try to manipulate certain situations because you think, oh, well, you know, I just have to do this or that and it'll be fine. No, certain situations, you're just not meant to be there. And so things are going to continue to go wrong. Things are going to continue to feel, um, you know, unlucky or again, misfortunate uh, until you recognize that you're the one with the ability to manifest. Okay. You're the one with the ability to create the life of your, of your dreams, of your desires. So to go even a step further now, we've got the three of swords. Okay. So I, I feel that whatever they've been going through has been causing them a lot of pain. I think also there could have been some betrayal involved or third party energy involved. And uh, again, it's almost like the spirits reminding this person, like you manifested this, you manifested this situation and this energy into your life by sticking around in a situation that you knew wasn't meant for you. Okay. And so, you know, a lot of times in those situations, multiple people end up getting hurt and Aries if you are involved in some sort of a third party dynamic with this person I think they're having a, a rude awakening as to all that's possible for them versus all that they have been entertaining thus far um and look at that we even have like the magician coming up in this card as well in the page of wands so as i say like if there's a third party situation happening here aries and now we've got your energy popping up on the screen there could have definitely been an affair um, or a desire to have an affair right a desire to have a new passionate beginning and go off on an adventure and explore and um and see all the world has to offer okay there's that energy brimming inside this person uh this curiosity that that they need to they need to check out for themselves okay they they know that love is more than what they've experienced they know that being in a relationship isn't about um you know feeling like you're alone that's not the purpose of a relationship the purpose of a relationship is to grow with one another and form something lasting for the future this is like the lovers right um so I do feel that that has been blocking this person quite a bit, really desiring to have that adventure, desiring to go off and have a passionate new beginning, to have new love, to have this open, emotionally vulnerable connection. Um, but once again, they need to free themselves first. We've got the star here. And uh, well, wait a second. Yep, the star. Um, and I'm looking at like the compass. So I was like, wait a second. Is that what we're looking at right now? The star? Yes, we are. So I think that this person has been being guided, okay, divinely and sort of prompted to follow that North Star, to follow that feeling, to follow what it is that they've been wishing, hoping and praying for. Because, you know, again, life is what you make it. Life is what you create it to be. So this person needed to to see all that was possible in order for them to truly follow their dreams, to, to really put themselves out there um, and, and wish for something, hope and pray for something, okay? So what are their likely actions moving forward? Okay, so we have kind of a chunky story over here. I'm going to take these two first. So their likely actions are the moon and the six of swords. So I do feel that this person is fully aware of what they need to do, right? They are tired of like keeping their feelings at bay. They have this idea of like what it would be like to be in that emotionally vulnerable connection with someone, to share your emotions, to share your every secret, to be in tune with that person. Um, and again, this is like divine feminine energy popping through. So I feel this person is going to, um, 
is going to like look deep within themselves and acknowledge their feelings. They're going to be real with themselves about what really needs to happen. And that is moving away from connections, people, places, and things that interrupt their peace. Okay. And that is exactly what that eight of cups is. This person has been dealing with not having peace in their life, not having balance, not having mutual respect and, and reciprocity. So they need to remove themselves. Okay. They need to free themselves. They need to go after their own peace. They need to um, move towards the person or towards the energy that makes them feel that peace. Okay. So Aries, are you this person's peace? Because again, depending on what perspective we're watching the reading from, this could be this could be you, this could be them, okay? So the other cards that popped up in this little storyline here are the Two of Wands, the Justice card, and the Emperor. So I, I do feel this person is going to, to, to move forward and take action on the plans that they have for the future. This person is going to rise up in their divine masculine energy. They're going to take control of their life, and they are going to take action in the physical world to bring balance, to bring justice, um... And again, balance those scales in their situation, okay? This could even be the person um, getting a divorce, right? Or settling things legally. Um, but I always see the justice card as like everything working out in the end, the scales being balanced, the universal energy, um, you know, doing what it needs to do in order to make sure that everything is fair. So I do feel that the universe is on this person's side. They have been planning a future for themselves. They have been looking forward and uh, again, thinking about taking action towards this new beginning. And now they're going to do so from that standpoint of their higher self. Okay. They've already learned a lot in their life. They've already seen, um, situations that weren't balanced, where they didn't feel respected, where they didn't feel like they were getting back what they were putting in. And they've seen how it's blocked their blessings. It's blocked their future from really blossoming in the best way it could. So I do feel that this person is going to take action. They're going to take control. Um, and they're going to make sure that everything is balanced and fair. Um, and then, uh, the outcome. Okay. So what is the outcome here? The likely outcome here. Okay. So you guys were getting the Hierophant in the reverse too. So this could really be someone who is like getting a divorce or ending some sort of committed situation that they were in. Um, no longer buying into a certain narrative uh, or uh, a belief system, right? I also feel too that with the emperor and the hierophant coming out right next to each other, that this person in the end, they're going to listen to what they believe and, and what they know to be true versus what everyone else is telling them to believe or the traditional, you know, restriction of their past, of their family line, their, their, their parents. Okay. People who raised them, the church, even I think this person is going to be breaking away from those norms to make sure that their life is fair and balanced. Because I think this person is kind of tired of thinking about other people. Um, and that's exactly why we saw that energy of needing to like free oneself. Okay. So the other card that popped up for the outcome was the six of pentacles. And once again, we're talking about balancing the scales and um, reciprocity, giving back. This person is intending to put themselves in a situation moving forward where they are only entertaining people who are on the same page as them, okay? So Aries, this person that we're tapping into, whether it's you or them, I feel that spirit is saying in the end, the outcome, everything is going to balance itself out as long as, you know, you or again, this person truly puts in the effort. That is the six of pentacles. It's a card of, of give and take. Okay. It's also a card of, um, of charity and, 
you know, giving back. So if you have been connected with someone who has needed to free themselves from a situation, I do think that that person is going to end up giving back to the connection. Um, but it's going to require them to, like I said, break free and balance the scales in their life and step up in their highest vibration in order to do so. Okay. Um, bottom of the deck, we also have the Knight of Pentacles. So I do think this person is in that slow and steady mode. I think that they have goals in mind that they want to achieve, but they are taking their time here in the physical because they want to be very careful, okay, about the seeds that they plant, about the foundations that they're laying. They don't want to make any mistakes moving forward. They've already dealt with unrequited situations. They've already dealt with people who weren't giving back to them. They've already seen that side of the coin. So now they need to start laying those bricks. They need to start putting down the foundation for what they want their future to look like. And that is exactly why we've got this two of wands here in their likely actions moving forward. They are going to continue to take action towards the road that they know is best for them. So that is what I see for this person. Um, you guys, I also have the 10 of pentacles in the reverse here on the bottom of the deck. So three cards popping up talking about potential like divorce or separation. So that definitely could be what needs to happen in uh, this scenario for some of you out there. Um, but let's move into some advice. Okay, what does spirit want you, the viewer, to know? What is the advice for you? What is the advice for you, Aries, the viewer? And once again, I'm not even surprised with the, the connecting themes that I see in these Zodiac readings because um, collectively, uh, this is definitely a collective energy. Okay, This has definitely been a storyline that has popped up more than once in these readings. Um, so I hope that that is the case for, for you or for your person breaking out of that um, breaking out of that energy of, of unrequited love and allowing things to unfold for you in the way that they should instead of holding on to something that, you know, again, isn't really meant for you, okay? There we go. All the cards were popping out chunky and I just wanted the one card, please. So I have express love through gifts. A small token of love can convey great appreciation. So going back to the um, Six of Pentacles, that could definitely be um, kind of a foreshadowing. This person could be wanting to give you a gift. Um, and then also this could be advice, right, from Spirit saying that maybe you need to be the one to reach out and provide some sort of reciprocity to this person, okay, depending on who you are in the storyline, of course. But expressing your love through gifts now doesn't necessarily have to be a physical gift, right? Sometimes just spending time with someone is gifting them your time, gifting them your energy. Um, so maybe showing this person that small token of love could be exactly exactly what has caused this huge change in their path forward, okay? It's changed the complete trajectory of what this person had planned for their life, okay? Now they see the potential of what real love and what real giving is like versus, you know, what they've been doing, which is just giving, giving, giving and not getting anything back. So again, hopefully that resonated with you guys. I know, um, Depending on the perspective, it can be different for every viewer, but let's talk about messages here. What does this person want to say to Aries, please? I know we are very deeply connected, okay? You are the right person, wrong time. So obviously we are connecting with someone who has seen the light, right? They've seen love. They've seen the potential of what this relationship could bring, but they still have loose ends to tie up, okay? So they know that you're the right person for them, but you came into their life during a time when they were still in the middle of something else, okay? Uh, what else do we need to see? Mm, you are all I can think about. So you're obviously on this person's mind, heavy, okay? Thinking about breaking free of that situation so that they can be ready to put themselves in um, a partnership that's mutually beneficial, okay? They're thinking about a future. 
I still secretly long for you. Yeah. So, you know, again, maybe you and this person had to go your separate ways so that this person could deal with their situation, but they're longing for you. Okay. Um, and I'm looking at the moon card here and, and we were talking about, you know, potentially having to hide how they felt or like keeping their feelings a secret. Um, especially if they're still dealing with someone else. I want to be more than just friends, okay? So this this new love, this energy, uh, they want that with you, okay? They want to have those heart to heart conversations. They want to have that that energy of romance with you. Um, I still want you, even though I don't show it, okay? So this is for someone out there who maybe this person is, um, again, hiding their feelings a little too well. Um, so they might not show how they feel. They might not be very obvious about it right now, especially if they're intertwined in a certain situation. But um, but yeah, they want it. They want you. And I also have, I see you in my dreams. So Aries, you are the person of this person's dreams. I feel that um, they obviously already know that there's a connection here with you that's very special. And it's just their circumstances that are kind of keeping them at bay, okay? And the last two cards are, I'm so sorry, I'm the cause of your pain. So if you are in a period of separation with this person while they're dealing with their issues, then they already know that it's causing you pain. Okay, it's probably causing them pain as well. And then finally, I'm facing my shadows without you. So they know that this is something that's not your responsibility to deal with or fix. Okay, this is on them. They're the ones that need to actively manifest um, and change their situation okay so they're facing their shadows without you they still are secretly longing for you they want this to be more than friends aries so um obviously that will be up to you at the end of the day again based on whichever person you are in this storyline only you will know but hopefully that resonated with you guys and of course if it did don't forget to like the video comment share subscribe and purchase a personal reading if you want to dive into your own specific story uh, but other than that aries I hope you enjoy the rest of January and I will see you again very soon. Bye.